Hello and welcome back to Inquisitor Martyr. Last time we ended up having a defense mission. I mean, that's about it, we had a defense mission. Stopped a bunch of chaos, and now we have to, I guess, chase down the remnants of them. The remaining chaos forces have retreated to their landing site. Our forces have pursued them, only to find themselves in the jaws of a trap. The servants of chaos have torn apart the fabric of reality and demons are surging forth. Stop the unholy invasion and seal the war proofs. Can do. Visit third. Our navigator has gone half mad from the warp anomalies. We've detected several warp rifts in the area. The veil between the real space and the immaterial is fading. We stop this madness. So I've been thinking more about uh, Dark Tide, and there is one thing that concerns me about that game, and it is something the devs really can't do anything to help, because it's completely player-based. This is a problem I have had since, honestly, since I played Left 4 Dead 2 online, and that's idiot players. I had the same problem in Vermintide. You know, the typical guy who's just like, I'm gonna go do everything, and he runs off alone and dies horribly. Or the hypochondriac player who's like, I took three points of damage, I need to use a medkit and steal your upcoming one. It's like, no you don't, get the hell away or I will let you die. And the worst part is those people are the same idiots who you can play on easy difficulty and they die. You know, the difficulty that bots don't die on. Inside. And they somehow die. And I'm just sitting here wondering, how do you live? Do you choke when you attempt to walk and chew gum at the same time? Easy difficulty is easy. You know, it's not Dark Souls 2 hitless speedrun kind of difficulty. It's like Babby's first it's Baby's first difficulty. Babby's first difficulty. That's literally all it is. You go there if you're new. But there is a degree where you have to look at it and say, are you really this new? Shooters are all generally the same. Hack and slash games are generally the same. What I know from playing hundreds, if not thousands of hours of Oblivion and Skyrim transferred over pretty well to Vermintide. Get close, stab things. If hurt, get away. Heal, then go stab things again. It's not rocket science. But there are people who treat it as though it is, and I don't understand why or how. And it's not even a matter of, you know, my video game elitism. It's... it's basic stuff. Once again, it's not like Dark Souls hitless speedrun kind of stuff where it's like, oh, how can you get hit by this boss? Easy. But when it's like, how do you die? <laughs> How, how do you do these missions where enemies hit you for, like, 2 HP and you just let it happen? I remember back in the day, back in my day, playing uh, Left 4 Dead, and I would see these people getting hit by a zombie, just standing there, punching in the face, and they'd look at them. And I've, I've watched these people, and I'm like, dude, you gonna finish that? Like, the zombie's just standing in front of you. I'm giving you enough time to rub two neurons together and get the little spark between your synapses going to go, hey, I think that might be a bad guy. But then those are also, they're going to be inevitable, those people. But they're also going to be the same people who either go into harder difficulties, like, yeah, I can handle this, and get bodied instantly. Or they're the kind of people who will 
look at... I, I attribute them kind of to those people you see when you play Call of Duty, who the second the match starts, they're shooting at nothing. You see them in Battlefield as well, and you're like, what are you doing? Are, are you just that impatient that you're like, I haven't been killing in four seconds, worry! Like, nah, dude. Take a second. Stop it. Get some help. It's not... It's not that difficult. That, that's the thing that scares me, is... I feel like Darktide might... Darktide has the potential to be a really good game. The devs have had time to learn from previous games. As long as they make the... Earning of loot fun and not a chore. They have a good thing on their hands. But I'm just worried stupid people will bring it down. There's always the fear of also stupid people being a vocal minority. You know, we, we've seen it in every game. I remember uh, Planet Side 2 when it first started, people complaining, Oh, tanks are overpowered. And you'd sit there and be like, what are you using to fight the tanks? Oh, I'm using a sniper rifle. Why are you using a sniper rifle to fight a tank? Use a launcher. And it would always degrade into, I don't wanna. And the devs would sit there and make concessions. Fine, we'll change it. Or that happened with the Liberators. The, I think it was the Dalton. It was effectively an AC-130, like, 105mm cannon. I used to fly around and just dumpster kids. Good times. But people whined and complained, so the devs were like, Okay, we're going to make the Liberator itself more flimsy, and we're going to make the Dalton have, like, a four-foot blast radius. And it reached well, just nobody pulled them. You know, why am I going to use this absolute dumpster fire of a vehicle when I can get into, you know, your basic single-man fighter, get some coyote rocket pods, and strafe an area for 40 kills? All because some idiots refused to actually learn counterplay. And they were a minority of the community. And th that's always been a fear in every game I enjoy, is the people who don't know how to play complaining that the game is difficult instead of learning how to play. You know, the, J the, game's, the game's journalist, the game's journalist approach. You know, it's not my fault I suck, it's your fault. Man, we've seen that approach a lot. Uh, I do wonder what else is going to be in Dark Tide. Because they make it seem like it's going to be... Like, we know there's... Pox Walkers. Guaranteed. But... This, in Vermintide, we also had Beastmen, Chaos. I mean, it, Warriors of Chaos, we're gonna get real particular. And then, Escape. And I'm thinking, you know, that'd be cool to have different groups of Chaos. You could have Rogue, Guardsmen. And then you could even divide that into subgroups. Oh, you're running the Munitorium mission. Well, this time the game rolled Space Marine. Chaos Space Marines. Okay. They're going to be let's say Black Legion. Healthy mix of all special types. Cool. You run that mission again. Oh, this time it's Rogue Guardsmen. Okay. You know, that's different. Next time. Oh, it's you know, a thousand suns. So you're gonna find rubric marines. And a lot of psychers. Okay, cool. You know, you mix it up a bit. And the thing would be, it doesn't have to be at launch. As long as you launch with, let's say, generic chaos and... Probably... We would have to be... Nurgle worshippers... 
generic chaos. And then from there you can add new stuff. Gene Stealer Cult? I'd be down to fight a Gene Stealer Cult. It's time to open a bottle of Amasek. You deserve it. The possibilities are... I'm not gonna say endless, but pretty expansive. I guess one of the big things is, are they planning eventually... I guess they have to see how it does, but a plan to make a Dark Tide 2. Which would potentially change development for what would remain of Dark Tide 1. With the Emperor's blessing, we have prevailed. The tides of chaos have been expelled from this place. The outpost has been secured, and the Ordos reinforcements are inbound. The experiment remains undisturbed, making this battle an undeniable victory. Cool, what rewards do I get? Skill point, always cool. And... Nothing worthwhile from that. Okay, that has to be expected. Ooh, new tarot card, though. That's pretty neat. I don't know what that does, but that's pretty neat. And that is all for now. If you enjoyed this episode, make sure to hit the like button. It helps out the channel a lot. And if you haven't already, make sure to hit the subscribe button. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.